Hello guys and welcome to my TypeScript series where I talk about how to code in TypeScript. In this episode I will talk about the generics in TypeScript. So let's start. I'm gonna show you how generics work in TypeScript by modifying the items cache example from the advanced interfaces video. Those of you who didn't see the video can watch it right now by clicking the balloon over here. Now, let us, uh, let's remember what the example was all about. Uh, it, has some, it had a class, items cache, and when we asked the cache for an item by ID, uh, it checked the cache, and if the item was in the cache, it, it uh, retrieved it, and if it wasn't in the cache, it created it using a constructor given it to in the uh, cache constructor itself. So uh, let's create some uh, interfaces, basic interfaces, for it to work. So we'll need the first interface of the item, which will have the ID for the item, for the cache to use it to store uh, the items. Uh, next thing, we'll need the interface, interface for the item constructor. Okay. And it will be an interface for a constructor of an item, which will receive an ID and return the item. But now uh, I want you, uh, I want it to be a generic uh, interface, uh, which means I want it to be uh, type safe when I use it with a specific item. So uh, the way I do it is firstly I replace, uh, I put the uh, T over the constructor. Okay, uh, what it actually does here, it conflicts with the other example I did in the advanced interfaces video. So uh, I'm gonna isolate it and uh, use it as a as a module. Uh, export. Those of you who didn't understand what I did here. Uh, don't worry, I will upload the video about modules later. Basically, what I did here is, uh, by specifying the export, I made the, uh, the file here a uh, module, uh, which means it is isolated from the uh, scope and the, nothing here can, uh, can interfere with other uh, interfaces or classes uh, created in other files in my in my project. So, uh, you can ignore uh, this export for now. It doesn't mean anything for you. Okay, so I have a, an item constructor T uh, which receives uh, an ID uh, and returns the T. But the T can be uh, of any type, it doesn't have to be an item. So I'll limit it now to be an item. Okay, so only a T's which uh, are of the structure of item, of the interface item, uh, are now acceptable as a generic parameter for the item's constructor. Next thing uh, that I'm gonna do is uh, uh, remember the cache had a, a member which mapped, and a dictionary which mapped the ID of the item to the item itself stored in the cache. So I'm gonna create an interface uh, which will be ID to item map and it will has be a dictionary from the ID of the item to the item itself okay and it once again gonna be a generic interface and the T must be item okay so once again this is a dictionary from ID to item Next thing is actually creating uh, our first generic class. So let's move it over here and create the item cache from the advanced interfaces only uh, being a generic class. So let's have a class item cache T and it's going to be uh, once again a generic class uh, limiting the T to be an item. Okay, and it will have the member saving the map, the, the dictionary from the ID to the item. Uh, items cache ID to item map T. Okay, and uh, it will have a constructor 
for the cache itself which will have a private item constructor constructor item constructor t okay and it will initialize the items cache now we're gonna create the function create item public create item we should receive the id and we'll return the item itself now if we have the item in the cache we should return it otherwise we'll create the item by using the constructor with the id store it in our cache and return the item that's it so uh, once again if you look at the example in the advanced interfaces it's uh, it's about the same only it doesn't use the generic types it used the item types so let's see uh, how can we use it so let's create a class person which will implement the item and uh, what it means it has to have a constructor and the property id and what to do public okay public id okay so we have a person with an id and that's it for now now we want to create our cache const items cache new item cache for person which will receive a person in the constructor but if even if i don't specify the generic type it actually identifies it you can see uh, that the items cache is actually a generic type uh, of the when the generic type is a person and it identifies it uh, because it's smart enough to see that the constructor uh, passing over here should be items constructor t and the t for the item constructor is something that is returned from the construction function construction function itself so when i'm passing the person here it identifies it uh, as t so the t over here is actually a person so uh, everything so when you look at the code over here you should be thinking of t as a person so what can i do right now i can create person want to be items cache i'm gonna retrieve create item okay and it's gonna be it's gonna receive a, an id and return you can see it here a person it identifies it uh, once again because of the t over here create item uh, because it's a person it returns a person so let's create it with an a okay let's just put it over here and put a type here and let's create another person with an id b and a third person with the same id a and now let's just log them person one person one and person two person three person two person three and i want to see that the cache is actually working so i'm gonna log person 1 is equal to person 2 it's gonna be person 1 equal to person 2 and I'm gonna do the same for person 1 and person 3 I'm gonna come 
compile it. It's compiled right now, and I'm gonna run it. And hopefully it will work. I won't have any bugs. Okay, so let's see what happened. So the first thing is person one is actually a person with a DA. Person 2 is an, a person with ADB, and person 3 is a person with, uh, once again with the ADA. Now, person 1 and person 2 are not equal, are not uh, the same instance, uh, and they shouldn't be because they have different uh, property uh, of the ID, but person 3, uh, even though it has the same property, it can be different uh, instance, but we can see here that is actually the same instance, meaning our cache is working. Sometimes you want to use generics uh, without interfaces or classes, uh, simply on functions. For example, uh, let's suppose we want to create a function for creating the cache itself. And let's set an output it over here before the first time we create it. Suppose we have a function create cache, it will be a generic function, and the t will be limited to be an item okay and it must receive the item constructor which will be item constructor t and will it will return the item cache items cache t like this return new items cache with the item constructor okay and we can use it like this and it knows the uh, create cache is actually a generic create cache with a t uh, person so net, let's just compile it once again okay it compiled and run and we're expecting to see the same input the same output and uh, yes we're seeing the same output now one thing you need to know about generics uh, in TypeScript is that generics is only for the compiler. What I mean by that? If you look at the gener generated JavaScript for the file I've just written, you can look at it and you don't see any T uh, anywhere. You don't see the create item returning a T parameter. You don't see even the interfaces, right? You only see the items cache, the class, and you don't see anywhere the generic type. This means that the generic type T is not available in runtime, uh, which means you cannot do something like uh, checking uh, the T, okay, using T uh, for some logic. Like you cannot write something like type of T. I don't know, equal to something. Okay, because T is not available. Okay, uh, let's look at it right here. Uh, const x type of T. And T only refers to type, but is being used as a, val as a value here. Uh, the explanation of the error is not actually uh, really will say anything like what I'm saying right now but uh, most importantly you need to remember you cannot uh, check anything uh, about the type T in runtime you cannot return like default value value for T uh, things you can do in languages like C sharp because uh, the generics is available in C sharp at runtime this is a very important thing to remember you have watched the episode about generics in TypeScript where I've shown you how to use generic interfaces, classes, and functions. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch other TypeScript videos by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube uh, to know what you really like and watch the video over here. If you want to watch other code-related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you next time on ProgramArist.